to let everybody know more about our project with HiCon. We're launching our ICO March 30th. We'll remind viewers at the end about that date as well. So the first question is, could you just introduce yourself? Who are you and tell us a bit about your background. Okay, uh, so I'm Niall. I'm one of the lead developers here at the HiCon project. Um, my background is in astrophysics and I've also got a master's in computer science. Um, I kind of got into coding years and years and years ago. Um, I remember playing the game Age of Empires 2 and it shipped with a, um, a how-to, basically where you could write code to make the AI play differently. And I was like, wow, this is really interesting. So I ended up writing about 10 different AIs for Age of Empires. Nice, um, that's good. All right, so now you're one of the lead developers here, and I would say that you're the face of the developers, I would say, because you've done some um, projects in terms of speeches and also delivering demonstrations about our technology. So I was wondering, why HiCon? Why the need for HiCon? Um, like it's basically, we looked at where the blockchain world was and we looked at where the problems were found in existing implementations. And through looking at that, we noticed that a particularly difficult one was solving the problem of throughput. And when we looked at these existing technologies that are out there, their transaction per second was you know, quite low. So having looked at all the research, we were at a kind of branch or a fork in the road. It was like, do we try to build on top of one of these existing projects? Or do we try and build something new from the ground up that we can make into the best thing that we can build? And we decided to go down the latter route because it gives us full control over what we're doing and um, what we need. Awesome. All right, great. So, some of the technology here is quite interesting and a lot of people have had questions about Two things in particular, the first being the DAG and the second being the Spectre protocol. I'm just wondering if you could give a quick overview about what each of those two things are and explain in non-technical terms um, if you can. Um, yeah, sure. Um, it came down to the research and looking at why we're doing the project and basically how we were trying to solve this throughput problem. And the two go hand in hand. Without a DAG structure, you don't need Spectre. So, and so on a regular blockchain, you wouldn't need to use Spectre protocol. It's designed with a DAG in mind. So one is a consequence of the other. Mm -hmm. um, a DAG is what we see here as an evolution of a blockchain. Mm -hmm. um, the original blockchains were linear and you would just have blocks that were added one by one to these chains. And consensus was decided by which one was the longer chain with any erroneous transactions, or not really erroneous, any transactions or blocks that were off the main chain mm. discarded. Right. Um, Ethereum moved forward with uh, the ghost protocol, right. which allowed blocks that were forked to retain some portion of their mining reward. Um, this allows a box that may have been forked off to still receive the reward, but it still incentivizes miners to mine on the longest chain, thus preserving consensus. Mm. Spectre is an evolution of this ghost protocol and that's used by Ethereum. It allows you to maintain consensus mm. in a DAG structure. Um, so we don't care about forking. You know, forking is fine. The consensus protocol can handle that. Awesome. It sounds very interesting. So what are the implications of, of these things um, in terms of, um, from a user perspective? Would it mean faster throughput? What would it mean? Um, from an end user perspective, uh, mm -hmm. using a DAG allows multiple blocks to be published simultaneously or nearly simultaneously right. anywhere on the network and we don't have to worry about latency on the network. So we don't have to worry about the travel time mm -hmm. of the data between nodes to maintain our consensus. Awesome. Um, which means that because we can have very short time between blocks, 
you can fit a lot of transactions down that pipe. So you can have a much higher transactional throughput. So that means that you can actually scale it much better than Bitcoin or Ethereum, for yeah. example. Um, by looking at some of the um, solutions that have come out of uh, the blockchain space at the moment, there's a lot of focus on off-chain transactions and directed payment channels. What we're doing is we're increasing the throughput on-chain, uh, which is slightly different to what's going on elsewhere. It's a really exciting development, I think. Yeah, I've read on uh, other forums that the DAG is kind of a big innovation in this space, so it'd be great. If we can deliver on that, it would be wonderful. So when is the ICO going to be? Could you let the viewers know when it will be? Uh, the ICO um, runs out on March 30th, and I believe it's going to run for six weeks. Yeah, that's right. That is right. So March 30th is when we're going to con well, going to commence the ICO, and it's going to have at least a six-week time window, possibly longer, depending on demand. So how can people follow us and find out more about uh, HiCon and our mm -hmm. project? Um, well, to start with, you can subscribe to this channel here. Um, yeah. Other than that, look us up on Reddit, look us up on Facebook, Twitter, Telegram. Yeah, we've um, got a Steemit account now. Basically, just search Team Hycon on any social media platform and you will find us. That's right. Okay, so I hope that was a good introduction for everybody. And there's going to be more to come over the next few weeks. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah. Cheers, guys. Okay, thanks.